Hey friends, it's your girl Anika Alexandria and I'm back. Thank you for being a friend. But hold on, wait though. But hold on, wait though. Is you good? You good, friend? Friend, I hope you're having a marvelous day. And if you're not, I hope I can put a smile on your face by the end of this video. <laughs> oh, hold on, wait, hold on, wait, hold on, wait. Is you subscribed? Is you subscribed? You subscribe? If not, go ahead and subscribe. So you can become my friend, okay? And if you're a returning subscriber, hey, best friend! How you doing? It's fragrance Friday. It's fragrance Friday. Hey, 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 hey. All right, listen, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about fragrance. As you can see, uh, my collection has, has grown quite a bit. Now, here's my thing. Majority of my fragrances are Arabian, okay? Because y'all already know, if I can smell good for a fraction of the cost, baby, I don't care who makes it. I want to smell good regardless. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, 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 yeah. But that's not what we get into that today. We are getting into the most expensive fragrance in my collection. I, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I'm gonna keep it real with you. A firm is definitely my friend. <laughs> she, she is definitely my friend, and that's how I was able to get this perfume because. I heard some things about the store I bought this perfume from. So now I low key high key want to fight because we're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. The perfume, the notorious perfume is none other than. Actually, what you think? You know, I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to do that. Oh, how gorgeous. Oh my goodness. How amazing. This is Oriana by Parfums de Malle, okay? Parfums de Malle. So let me tell you about the notes in this beauty right here, okay? Okay. So she is giving you sweet, citrus, fruity, powdery, vanilla, white floral, musky, latonic. To be honest, I gotta look up what, what latonic like, is supposed to even smell like or what it's supposed to even mean because to me, that that's like a milky latonic. I feel like like that, that should be milky or like a creamy. Ah, uh, you know what? Yeah, I could... I can smell the creaminess. If Latonic is supposed to be like creaminess, I can, I can smell the creaminess. Top notes are mandarin orange, bergamot, grapefruit. Middle notes are orange blossom, raspberry, black currant. Base notes. This is where the beauty is for me, okay? This is where the beauty lies for me, okay? Whipped cream, marshmallow, musk, and amberette. It, like when I smell this, what does it give? Where does it take me? I am at a picnic and I'm not even at a picnic with like a love interest. I'm at a picnic with my girls. That that's what that that's where this is taking me. I'm at a picnic with my girls. We're sipping our wine. We're doing a little painting. We have cute little finger food finger foods. We're just there, just enjoying each other's company. You know, like being in that feminine energy amongst each other. We're laughing. We're cooing. We're talking about business. We're talking about our adventures. We're talking about traveling. We're talking about like this. Just gives me. I'm with my girls and i'm in my feminine bag i'm in my feminine energy and i am in love i i'm 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 gonna lie i'm 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 in love i'm in love i am in love i am in love it is such a gorgeous scent and i mean the bottle the tassels like i mean i'm pretty sure y'all already know how perfumes and molly female bottles look but it's another thing to see in person. It really is such a gorgeous bottle. It really is like the decals, you know, and it's just, I can't get enough. I can't get enough. So I got this gorgeous bottle from Joma Shop. Now, I don't know if you guys saw that TikTok where Joma Shop sent that girl <laughs> A knockoff of perfumes of Molly. It appears as though I've been scammed, my friends. I paid $170 for a fake bottle of Casilli from Jama Shop, and I knew right away it was fake because it smelled like rubbing alcohol. So the one on the left is fake, the one on the right is real. And listen, the way that this was 50%, 60% off when I got it, 
I, I'm wondering, I'm wondering. I ain't gonna lie, the reason why it made me wonder if I got a knockoff as well is because just like the girl, when she first sprayed it, it was just a strong scent of alcohol. <laughs> now listen, the amount of money I still paid for this, I will be incredibly mad if this is a knock. But again, the price that I paid for it, I wouldn't be surprised if it is a knock. I'm going to be heated. I'm going to be heated. Regardless, I'm going to be heated. But the price that I paid for this compared to the original cost, let me just... Okay, so the original cost for this bad boy is $330. On Joma Shop, they had a special going, and I got this for $185 before shipping and tax. Okay, I didn't see that TikTok until after I got it and I opened it. So I was like, shit, I'm already here. However, comma, does it smell good? We move. All right, one thing for sure is, it is heavy. It is heavy. It does have a, oh. <laughs> It is heavy. It does have a cute rhinestone. Let me put it on. It does have a cute rhinestone. It does have like the indentations of like the two horses, 1743. I mean, it, it's nice. The, the smell. <sighs> It's, it's, it's beautiful. It really is. My coins is coming to me. I claim it, I receive it, it is mine. I am going to get the official bottle of this because it, it's, it's expensive. It's very expensive. But to my nose, is it worth it? 100%. 100% this is worth it. It smells so good. Like it smells like a grown girly girl. I wish I could explain it better, but that's what it smells like to me. It smells like a feminine woman who leans into her femininity and who leans into her softness of being a woman. It just, it smells playful. It smells seductive. It smells, I wanted to say young, but not young. I don't think young is the right word. Youthful. It smells youthful without being childish. It smells like I can wear this on a date. I could wear this to work. I can wear this to run errands. I could wear this to church. I could wear this. Would you want to wear this to the gym? I feel like, I feel as though, yes, you could get away with this even at the gym. Like this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous thing. However, dot comma. That didn't really make no sense, but keep it going. For the price, and apparently this is just like the perfume itself. It has no lasting power. And for $330, I feel like it should be lasting. You know what I'm saying? Like for $330, in all honesty, I feel like for $330, it should be lasting 330 hours. Tell me that's not a fair payoff though. Tell me that's not a fair payoff. I feel as though this should be lasting a lot longer than it does. But is it, is it a gorgeous scent? Yes. Do I love it? Yes. Will I purchase it again? Probably not from Joma Shop, only because if I'm gonna be paying that much money, I might as well just put on the rest and make sure that I get a, a, a authentic one. But does it smell good? Yes. Absolutely love it. So to come back, the few, the few seconds that it lasts on my skin at least, I did went ahead and pick up the corresponding perfume oil. This is from Oil Perfumery. Oil. What? This is from Oil Perfumery. I feel like it's a bit up there, up there. Like, if I'm not mistaken, this is $19. Not sponsored. I just really, 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 really love their oils. It smells a little bit more citrusy than the perfume. However, it does it smell good? Yes. Do they work together? Yes. When you put this and this together and it just lasts the 330 hours like it's supposed to, it just, this is, this is what dreams are made of okay this is what dreams are made of right here this the, this this hmm. for it to be a potential knockoff it really is a gorgeous 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 scent regardless you know it, yeah yeah it's near and dear to my heart i will i will be honest i have not shopped joma shop ever since seeing that tiktok though so would i suggest 
going to jump my job to buy it mm, at your own risk at your own risk you know i have no problem with buying dupes i have no problem with buying knockoffs not knockoffs but i have no problem with buying dupes i absolutely have no problem with buying dupes however comma let me know it's a dupe don't have me thinking it's a real thing and then being exposed that it's a knockoff you know what i'm saying like be upfront. tell me the truth I mean, I have heard that not all of them are knockoffs, but you know, who's to say which one it is and which one isn't, you know what I mean? But is it a gorgeous bottle, a gorgeous scent? Yes, yes it is. I know I've said this four times now and I would say 15 more. Yes, yes it is. I want to go and get the official one, like from, from like official seller, like Neiman's Market or something like that. I mean, this is a scent that I wore today. Anyways. <laughs> it just smells so good. Okay, friends, thank you for watching Fragrant Fridays with me. Go ahead and subscribe. And if you haven't already, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Tell me what you think about perfumes and Marley or Ariana. Or if you have any insights on Joma's shop, like, sh like, like, should I continue to shop there? Or like, is it a dub? Is it a pass? It's a no, no go. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you made it this far, go ahead and comment this secret emoji so I know that you are a real one. And I'll give you a shout out in the next week video. Okay, okay. And as always, with love and 276 kisses. Bye, friends. Show your love for a nigga.